I'm Wayne Garcia here at the third annual Portland Timbers kickoff luncheon. It's about to begin and it's a chance really for fans to really get to know the team. There's a lot of new faces this year. There's a new coach this year and this is an informal event, really a fun time for the fans to figure out what's going to happen this season and really get some questions asked and answered. I went to the game Saturday night and I was blown away by just the different style it was. It was exciting. So um, just I'd like to hear them talk about the evolution of that, I think. I just kept thinking if we keep the ball this much, that just lessens the other team's minutes, lessens their chances to right. score. I mean, right. eventually it's going to be a good thing, don't you right. think? Oh, I agree. And not only are they keeping the ball, they're attacking with it, too. Just looking to meet some of the new players as well, too, and hear from them. Um, welcome them to, to Portland and the community and just wrap our arms around them and, and say, let's go, let's get, let's get some W's. What do you imagine in your mind is going to happen today? Lots of autographs, that's for sure. <laughs> do you have a favorite player? Um, Dean Nagby, which is awesome because he's like sitting right there. You're in heaven right now. I know, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I am privileged to be here today and um, we're proud as Fox 12 to be a broadcast partner with the Portland Timbers. But I kind of feel I'm here today more representing the fans than I am my station. So I'd like to bring up Merritt, and I would like to say thank you for your passion and your commitment to Portland. Merritt Paulson. I'd say uh, 2013 is the dawn of the less talk, more action era for the Portland Timbers. I absolutely guarantee these guys are going to make you proud. The team that's going to get introduced today is going to make you proud. There's a lot of new pieces, a lot of new parts. It may take a little bit to gel, but I feel really good and I feel really optimistic and the team's going to speak for itself. So Merritt, when you say less talk, do you mean more tweets <laughs> to make up for it? <laughs> it's going to take time, but we're going to have extremely high expectations here. We don't know how long it will take. Like Merritt said, we're not going to promise anything, but trust me, we will get there. We will get there in time, and eventually, okay, we're going to be in the mix to hopefully win an MLS Cup. Uh, I'm confident of that. So I thank you, and uh, more than anything, I thank you for your support. I look forward to, uh, to producing a winner here, a champion here in Portland. Thank you. Number 22 midfielder, Rodney Wallace. Now, Rodney, can you explain a little bit about what you're wearing today? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just went uh, you know, simple at the top, a little blue. Switched it up with the khakis. No sock Not too look. much. No okay. socks. No socks today. It's okay. Okay, it's fine. How about number eight, midfielder Diego Valeri. Welcome to Portland. You surprised me, oh, the fans, and uh, they're wonderful. Uh, they are very important for, for the team, and we will work to give them uh, well, many, many victories and much happiness, you know, and... <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh. Let's bring out number five, defender Michael Harrington. Mikey, uh, a lot of the players know uh, you have a secret talent, and uh, I'd like to... Maybe you can show us uh, your beatboxing skills. Number 90, goalkeeper Jake Gleason. Jake, uh, we know you have a secret talent as well. Um, we know you can shuffle dance, so I'd like you to show the audience a little bit. Come on, who wants to see him shuffle? Yeah, let's hear it. All right, all right. All right that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Thank you, Jake. We look forward to seeing you at Gerald Winfield. I know you already have this on your calendar, but mark it down again. I'm going to look here and make sure I get it right. Sunday, March 3rd, 4.30. We'll see you there, and let's go for the win, huh? Thanks, and have a great day.